Kedron, first chance you get to look in here at you know the venue, getting to a goal that you all wanted to get to. What are your thoughts when you go out, even though it's just for a quick shoot around? Um, get familiar with the court, the basketballs, the rim, because that's all going to play a big part in these games that we got coming up. What's the thing that you have to pay the most attention to? Lighting also? Uh, I say a little bit because the Coliseum is bright, but it's not as bright as the T-Mobile Center, so I think so. And then what about the balls? And that's really one for all of you. Does the ball affect your game, mess with you? What's in that familiarization process? We know that Eric <laughs> messes with them, right? I mean, you know, the basketball is a basketball, but they have different textures to them, different feels to them, you know. So it's really just getting from getting in there, getting familiar with it. But that's uh, basketball that we've used throughout the season, so it's not like it's something completely brand new to us. It's something that we've played with before, and I think that we've played pretty well with that basketball before. So hopefully it stays the same. As far as like the lighting, the background, and what you guys are seeing as you guys are trying to shoot, does it compare to any of the other Big 12 venues that you all go to throughout the year? Or is it just completely different? Uh, to to me, it's just completely different, you know, because I don't. We haven't been in an arena that has that type of feel to it, you know. There's not many arenas with the all black seats like that, so there's a different background behind the hoops, things like that. And, and like you said, the lights are are very bright in there. But at the end of the day, a basketball court is a basketball court, so this is this is what we do. I sat down, there, but I got a question for Emma. Oh, wait, let's, let's do these three, then we'll move oh. Emmett and Eric in together. Oh, okay. So whenever you're done with Kedrian. Oh, I got one for Kedrian, Hey, you, you played in this tournament. Um, what makes it so special? Uh, it comes down to who won it the most. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure we haven't won a Big 12 um, tournament championship, so I think that's what you know, makes this tournament so important for us. Describe the atmosphere here, the excitement. You know, the arena's packed, the city is – all about the basketball mm -hmm. tournament. Everybody's kind of walking around with their. Mm -hmm. what, what is it about that? Uh, it's real different because it's not like the NCAA tournament. With this being a conference tournament, one game at a time, and you're on the, you're in the spotlight, so everybody's watching you. And, and of course, the city is all about Big Twelve basketball mm -hmm. this weekend, right? Yeah. Does that make it even more special. Uh, most definitely, because this whole city is looking forward to this tournament. Jim, we talked a lot this year about how you came in, reshaped your body went through a major process with that. Then through the grind of the season, obviously a couple injuries, you know, things like that have been nagging. How hard has that been getting through all of that and did all the stuff from the summer, does it kind of take a toll, you know, kind of stocks up at the end of the year? Yeah, um, you know, I've been feeling it um, a little bit lately, um, but it's, you know, it's just something my body got to get used to. Um, you know, I'm still trying to get used to my body being this low on my weight, but it's probably been the lowest I've been in years. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, my body been nagging a little bit, but it's just something I got to get used to, and uh, I think I'll be good. I would think that next year, wherever you're playing, yeah. that you don't have to go through that, that you're starting from you yeah. know, this good a shape, that you probably will have some more bounce, everything at the yeah. end of the year. Yeah, I, I feel like, uh, you know, with my one-year eligibility left, uh, you know, I use that. I can I can take it more, more so uh, towards my skill and not more so against my body. So I, um, you know, I'd probably be able to feel a little bit better and not worry so much about losing weight or you know, trying to stay in shape. You know, Jimmy, kind of going off those questions that Keith Green just got, you know, what's it been like for you getting in here and you know, seeing the venue and what are your expectations for this week? Uh, I mean, it's one of the, the craziest venues I've been to, uh, you know, in my career. Um, so it's something that I have to, you know, get used to. But, um, you know, it's a nice feeling being here. Um, you know, it's my first year um, in the Big 12. So, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, see what we do in the tournament. Uh, thank you, three, three, and then we'll move Eric and Evan in. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. 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 Yeah, just, Emmett, yeah, just put it right in between the two. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, Emmett, speak into that one. This one? Mm -hmm. 
Hello? Because that'll be for me. So we post this one. On oh, I thought you were telling me like get a mic check. No, no, you're good. You're good. I'm just talking about it in general. Bro, you're better. Yeah, I want to ask you about that too. Um, what makes this tournament so special? You played it. You had a great game against Texas Tech way back in the day. Um, I think this tournament, you know, just brings out all the fans from all the schools. Um, Opening night, usually not the final four, not the final four, the first four playing is it's not that packed. But, you know, that next day, that opening day where everybody's playing, fans from everywhere are flying in. You got every school's fan base in the gym and it's like sectioned off where you have just different colors all around the gym. And it's a beautiful sight to see. Uh, I was fortunate enough to play in the final four night of it my freshman year. And, you know, it the atmosphere just gets insane. The more you win, the more you advance. And, you know, that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, the Big 12 does a great job, you know, laying this whole thing out. And, I mean, this arena's fun. It's huge. And I just can't wait to see everybody back in it. Where were you at Pac-12 tournament? Las Vegas. So what, what was it? Compare this to Las Vegas. Obviously, Las Vegas has a lot of other things going on. Here, it's all about basketball, right? Uh, it was a little warmer, I would say. But, I mean, when it comes down to it, it's just basketball. Um, you're still playing in a huge arena. That arena is also the T-Mobile Arena or T-Mobile Center. Uh -huh. And... Um, I think that the fan bases probably don't travel as well, you know, for this or for that tournament. But this tournament is it's a complete flip. Everybody's here. The championship's usually a sellout. I haven't been able to see a championship live, but I just know it's it's probably way more intense than you know what I've seen. Well, it's the last thing, intensity on the floor. Is yeah, pretty intense. Everybody's playing for their life. So you know, once you realize you're playing for your life and. You know, you don't want to lose. That's when all those, you know, miraculous plays happen. Those things you're like, well, it's March. And that's just the real. Is the dunk you had against Texas Tech still the best one of your career? Best dunk? The one here. No. No? no. Really? It was a great dunk, but no. No, that was a, that was a like, welcome to America. Like, one of those <laughs> moments. Uh, I think the one I had at Iowa State was nice. Yeah. And then I also had one last year against Utah at home. Where I went like up and under, uh, kind of like mini windmilled it. Florida was a nasty one this year. I don't know. There's a lot. There's, I like them all. That one on Saturday wasn't that bad either. Yes. That one was very acrobatic. <laughs> very acrobatic. Eric, is it different playing against Texas Tech again so quickly? I mean, I know sometimes you have some quick turnarounds in regular season, but having played them and then rolling back and playing them again, does that change the way you approach anything? Do you say, yeah, you got to switch something up a little bit? Uh, I don't know about approach any different, but obviously we're going to make adjustments from our last, you know, last time out against them. Um, but no, it seems it seems like every year come conference tournament time, I'm playing a team that we've played within like, you know, last two or three weeks or so. So um, like Emma says, it's basketball, man. You got to go out there and play. Putting a body on somebody and going to get the ball. That's all it is. Rebounding is all effort. That's, you know, people say rebounding is a skill, and, you know, it's, it's, it's obviously a skill for some people, but it's, rebounding is more just effort and, you know, the want to. Um, obviously, some guys are bigger and jump higher than, you know, me, but, um, you know, put a body on somebody and be physical and go get the ball. It's simple. Big guy hurt you guys in Morgantown. Yeah. Facing. You have to gang rebound against him. You have to try to move him around a little bit. Yeah, just like I said, you just got to be physical. And you got to you got to have a want to. You know what I mean? I think we were up eight in that game late down the stretch, and he had he had a big a jump hook on the on the one um, on the right block. He had a tip in, and he was ten for ten from the foul line. So, um, you know, if we keep keep him off the glass, I, I like our chances. You excited about playing this tournament? You played in three other conference tournaments now, so you had a tour of college basketball. You yeah. tour this now. What are, you, what are your thoughts? Yeah, this one is definitely um, – it, it looks like it's going to be the best, you know I mean, just from the appearance. Um, you know, last year in Tampa was pretty good with the SEC. That was a, that was a pretty good environment. Um, but, you know, like I've been saying all year, the Big 12 is just different in all aspects. Um, I was just talking to Jimmy out there, and he was like – he was like, bro, how many, how many people do you think can fit in here? I said, bro, it looks like about 20, 25 maybe. He said, well, it feels like about 50. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you never, you never know, man. But, um, you know, we're playing on the first night. Hopefully we can advance and then, you know, 
get into the tournament, the real tournament, and, uh, you know, get to play in that environment and show up. You even got a song for this tournament now. You heard about that? What was that? I think the lead just announced. Oh, that they, little video? So you got a song, a theme song. Yeah, yeah we got like two seconds of that video, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. 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 That's what they should be playing. Aside from the fact that both teams won on the other's home court this year, did, what was the biggest takeaway, I guess, or did you anything stick out from the two meetings with Texas Tech this year? We blew the game, the second game. Um, and I mean, I'm not taking anything away from them. They played great. They had some guys who played really good. Um, but like I said, we were up eight down the stretch at home. You're not supposed to lose that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, man, I mean, you're going to have to come out here and play every night. Um, doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, everybody in this league is good. Everybody in this league can be in the NCAA tournament. Um, it's probably not going to happen that way just because, you know, like somebody said on Twitter, we, the, the league cannibalizes itself. Um, but you got to come to play every night. I think he was saying it's a little bit brighter in here uh, out of the court, maybe compared to the Coliseum or some of the other gyms that you guys have played in this year. Easier to shoot, I guess, in a brighter gym, or does that make it tougher? I don't even want to comment on that, man. I'm superstitious. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just play basketball. Just a- <laughs> I don't worry about the lights. I mean – I don't wear contacts. I don't know if somebody that would wear contacts, that would be an issue, but I don't know. It's the lights. I mean, they're, they're bright. It's, it's the big stage, so that's kind of how they're supposed to be. Um, I wouldn't expect them. I don't, I don't think they, like, will mess with you. or I mean, it, it would depend on, like, the angle. If the angle was, like, up going down into, like, the rim while you're shooting, that would probably be an issue, but I think they have a good light Just layout here. Yeah, focus on the rim. And the one thing this team has to do tomorrow guard to get a win guard guard I think offense is going to handle itself uh, it has handled itself the past couple games I think if we we go out and execute our defensive plan and strategies I think we don't have an issue and I think that's for the rest of the season so it's guard and win hey guys thank you It's, it's too. Can you talk about the lights? Okay. Oh, I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs>